So today I want to bring you a special guy called uh, Mikhail Tal. Mikhail Tal was a guy from Riga, the capital city of Latvia. He was a Soviet Latvia chess grandmaster and the eighth world champion. So Mikhail Tal is considered by many to be the most atta- the world's uh, most attacking player. And uh, his games really show that he had a very strong attacking heart and mind. So let's see what really happened in one of his games. So Mikhail Tal was playing against like, this guy called Mark Passman. So we see Mikhail Tal starting with E4 and the, then we see C5 on board, which is the Sicilian defense. So we see Knight E3 on board and then D6 going into the Sicilian. This is a modern variation. And then we have Sicilian with a break, D4. Of course, take takes with Knight. This is standard in the Sicilian Najov. And then we have on board the move knight to f6. So we see knight c3 and then at this point we see this move s6. s6 come in of course to stop these knights uh, from over being extended and, uh, and attacking too early. So this is the pure Nadio variation. So we see the move f1 board of course he's preparing to have his knight well placed in case it's just away and of course that's what we expected which is the move e5. At this point we, f- we see the knight falling back and then we see the move knight b d7. And then we see the move bishop to d3. And then bishop to e7. Of course, everything is ready. These guys are both ready to castle. And that's what happened in the game. So castle castles. And then we see the move king to h1. Of course, king to h1 is an, is an amazing move. Preparing already to just strike in case of any attacks which will be needed in the future. So we see on the board b5. Of course, trying to push away that knight. So and also expand on the on the queen side and then we see an an inhibiting uh the inhibiting uh move a3 so on the board we see queen to c7 and then we see takes takes of course with the pawn uh f takes and d takes and then we see knight to h4 the knight has started its maneuvers of course we know where it's going it's trying to eye the 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 the, the desired um, knight to f5 and then we see this of course the bishop is opened up to kind of take that uh to of course take that knight and then we see the move bishop to g5 pinning this knight and also trying to trying to expand on the king side and then we see the king king queen falling back and then we see the knight coming in with knight to f5 of course the bishop was waiting for that knight takes takes with a rook didn't take with a pawn and then we see the knight falling back of course black wants to uh sorry of course, we know that Passman wants to just take away these uh, these bishops. Then we see the bishops off the board, and then the queen takes back. Then we see this knight coming in, of course, to get that queen. And we see Mikhail Tal now trying to get into his thing, getting all his pieces into play. And then we see the queen coming, queen to g4. This is typical of Tal. All his pieces were always coming into play, and then that's when he used to strike. And then we see this pawn, of course, chasing away the, 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 the rook. But of course, we know the pawn is pinned by the queen, and that's not a threat. So we see the rook coming in to make a ballery, and this is, uh, the, the, remember, the, the rook cannot be touched. Then we see the move f6, and then, of course, Tal uses that pin to further expand his, uh, to expand on the king side. Then the king moves away, of course, unpinning the king, and now the rook is in typical danger. And then we see the rook falling back, but then we see pawn to f5 coming in pretty handy takes of course now this hangs the knight taking just hangs the knight this is when tactics start on board this is when the man from riga Mikhail Tal, starts to show his uh, his brilliance and his stamina on board he hangs the knight by taking the pawn hangs the knight then the, then he drops this knight of course he was eyeing this over extension of the pawn pawn takes g6 and then we see rook takes rook takes f6 f3 sorry and then we see the pawn check coming in with a with a tempo. The king has to move away, get out of that check. And then we see the another sack, amazing sacrifice from the from Mikhail Tal again. This is the second sacrifice that comes in with a, with some precision. Of course, this is a deep dark forest, as he always said that he always wanted to take his opponents to a deep dark forest where two plus two is equal to five, and that's when that's what he always enjoyed. He always enjoyed making his opponents also lose their stamina, get off balance. A second sacrifice, destabilizing the king, the king side. The king, of course, has to capture to avoid being checkmated. 
and then we see the rock takes. Let's note that Mikhail Tal has just sacrificed two pieces. It, the uh, Passman has two point, two knights uh, for himself, and of course this is a scary position for Tal. So we see the knight coming in from Passman, getting his pieces active, but then we see the move h5. Of course h5 is trying to also extend this queen. This is getting more exciting, this is getting more uh, heated up, and then we see the move trying to bring up, trying to bring in his knights with a with a, with a move knight to f6 knight d to f6 then we see the queen coming in at the right time chasing away the king the king has to drop back then we see another pawn attack with the pawn h6 h6 is coming in with some precision and some pressure i now believe that passman was really getting hot heated up and the board was on fire of course there was a threatening checkmate with a with a pawn but of course the knight is there to also handle the pressure so we see this rook also coming in to stop any further progress but then we see the king being moved by tal the king move is quite amazing because it's just uh, it doesn't make sense to me at this point but of course he really knows that getting the king off uh, any any checks from uh, probably the knight um, i really didn't understand what he was really playing at this point this is really high level tactical with a high level tactical intuitive and then we can see tal bring in uh, bring in this rook to e7 then we see this rook, of course, going to h3, of course, ready to push the pawn and, and, and blast up the king's side. Then we see the knight. Passman makes a very amazing decision at this point. He puts the knight on h7. He refuses that pawn push, of course, which was going to be disastrous for, for him. And then we see the rook falling back. The rook falling back, of course, to destabilize the queen. And then we see the queen moving away. This is when Tal also picks the knight back. Of course, we know that picking... Uh, picking the knight back, he was very confident that if pick picks, he'll have this attack. Of course, Passman is now is tired and really already concerned about his position, and then he picks that queen. Picking that queen, of course, gives him this. Uh, picking this queen, of course, giving give, gives him this. Uh, uh, gives Tao this advantage to really push up this rook. We see the rook coming in with a check. The check is really coming in very handy, and this is when we realize that things are really hot on board. And then, of course, we see the rook, uh, the king getting away from, from danger, and then we see a queen promotion. Queen promotion, of course, that's when we see that the king has to now keep on running away. Keep on. This is when Passman was chased around the board. Of course, every, every move is coming in with a hot tempo and that's when we see the king has to just fight for survival of course when the rook came in finally this is when passman realized that uh, a check is in, a checkmate is inevitable or heavy loss of material and that's when he took and that's when he signed the recording sheet and that's when we see that Mikhail tal was one of the most attacking chess players on the on the in the in the in the game history in the history of the game so please enjoy this uh short game as we look forward to many tower games and his attacking brilliancy thanks see you then